What's up everybody? Today I'm going to introduce you to my new pattern I call the Bluegill Secret Weapon. This is an extended foam body pattern to catch some slab bluegills. So you may have noticed, instead of starting with the hook in the vise, I have my bodkin in the vise. This is how we're going to create our extended foam body. So ideally, you want your bodkin to be straight, just level with your desk, but my vise doesn't allow for that, so it's just going to be angled downward. For the tail, I've cut a strip of 2mm black foam. I just cut about an eighth inch. I'm going to fold that in half, and then we're going to cut a taper into that fold. So you don't want to cut all the way across so that it separates, you just want to taper it down so that you have a rounded butt. That is going to be the butt of our bug. So we're just going to poke this right onto the bodkin, but first we need to start our thread. So I'm just going to wrap that around the back of the bodkin, then we can get a few wraps in front and bring it down closer to the point. Just make sure it is secured before you let go of the butt end. Now we're going to take the point of that foam and just push it through the end of the bodkin bring it up to our thread, and then we're going to tie that down and create a little segment there. You can see that segment. Then we're gonna bring our thread back behind the foam, back to where we're gonna tie our next segment, and just do the same thing. Create the second segment of that butt. Move our thread out of the way. Tie a third segment. And if this is confusing to you, you can always rewind and just keep looking at this until you get it down. This can be a little frustrating at first to figure out, but once you get it down, it's really worth it to incorporate the extended foam body into your ties. So keep at it and you'll get it down. All you gotta do is keep moving your thread out of the way and create a new segment in that foam. And then now we're going to whip finish just right on top of that last segment. I like to do five. And just be really careful because it can get caught up in the head of that bodkin. You can also use a sewing needle if that's easier. Okay, get about five turns and then you can just pull that tight. Clip your thread and it should be secured down so you can now unwrap your previous wraps of thread and remove that body from the bodkin. So we should just be able to slide that off, just wiggle it back and forth until it slides off, and there is your extended body. So I'm going to tie this on a 1 64th ounce jig head. It has a size 8 hook and I powder painted it with Protec Black. We're just going to feed that onto the head like it's a soft plastic. We're going to shove the end of that hook through the foam. And then we're going to poke it through where we want that to extend. Just make sure you get the length you're looking for. And there we go. I like to have a short body like this so that the fish have no problem eating it. Okay, now that we've got that, we're going to place our jig head in the vise. And we're going to start our thread. This is a 70 denier UTC Ultra Thread in black. Just gonna start that like we would behind the head and take it down. And then we're gonna wrap all of these little fibers that are attached to the body. We're gonna wrap these down to the jig just so that they don't give us any problems later. And so this thing doesn't come undone. So secure those down and then you can clip those off along with the tag end of your main thread. And then just tie over those again, make sure everything is nice and tight. Okay, now we're going to continue our foam body just like we did on the bodkin, but we're going to do it on the jig head. So move that thread out of the way of the foam and then completely wrap around the foam to create another segment. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then move those foams out of the way. You can get a better look here at what I'm doing. And then pinch them together again and wrap over that with your thread. This creates a nice body segment for this extended body bug. And just do this as many times as you need to. You could do it all the way up to the head, but I like to add a little 
extra bugginess, so I'm just going to stop there. Make sure it's secured down tight before you cut those foam wings off. Then we're going to tie over those with our thread. This will just make sure that foam just stays connected to this jig forever. At least until the fish rip it apart. Okay, so secure that really tight. Build that up with your thread if you need to, just so we don't have such an extreme taper. And then bring the thread back down to the foam. Now I like to use some natural hare's ear. So this is just hare's ear fibers you can get from fly tying shops. I like to split my thread, just because this is really fine fibers. And then I like to use some tacky wax. This is just fly wax from Loon. Just wax that loop that we created and then push those hair's ear dubbing fibers into there. And then we want to twist that around and create a nice core of dubbing. And this will just emulate some really buggy legs on this to make it look like a nice plump bug just fell into the water and is ready to be devoured by bluegill. Okay, so once you got a nice core of dubbing, you can start turning that. And once you get the first turn, you can turn it more if you need to, it makes it easier. And we're just going to keep going over that until we have a nice thick layer of dubbing that's about the same thickness of the body. And then just whip finish that right at the head. And you can put a little resin, cement, or super glue on there just to make sure it stays together. Then we're going to take some Velcro and just tease these hair's ear fibers out. Once we got them teased out, we're going to brush them backwards over the body. And these legs will just look crazy and enticing to the fish. So just brush those out until you're happy with how buggy it looks. And this will also pull out any of the loose fibers. So there you have it. This is the bluegill secret weapon. The magic of this pattern is that you can tie it in any color that the foam is available in. Again, this is two millimeter thick foam and you can cut it into whatever size strips you need. You can tie it bigger for crappie or smaller for even smaller fish. But this is my new go-to anytime I'm fishing for bluegill. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. We will see you next time.